plate a beautiful carrot, right? That's the plan? You got it, bud. So in this challenge, we'll have one minute plate a carrot. One minute? One minute. <laughs> ah, the good old competition. All right. So Nine. <laughs> I'm touching the carrot. No, that's the carrot. Oh, so sorry. First of all, I don't eat cooked carrots. I think they're gross. This is going to end up in a small bowl to the side of this, which will be reserved for a dog or something like that. My thought process is that this dish is just going to be judged on aesthetics. I know I'm going to take this carrot top off and throw it out. Anybody who tells you that carrot tops taste good are lying to you. My plan is to make a harissa vinaigrette with harissa lemon juice, olive oil. I think I'm going to go with a um, typical Argentinian salad. Why not? Then I'm going to cut the cooked carrot in oblique shapes. I'm going to peel the raw carrot and then shave it into ribbons. I'm going to toss that with the dressing and finish it with some chopped pistachios, some of the carrot tops, um, and some Aleppo pepper. Can I think for a sec? You can think for a sec. Oh my god. Gabby, what did you do to the carrot? I'm going to do a carrot raita. That's okay. my plan. I think I'm going to pair it with some hard-boiled eggs and make a little dressing with some olive oil, lemon, salt. So I kind of like the idea of just combining the two slicing them simply, but then kind of arranging them in a sort of non-hierarchical way on this plate, and then just like killing them with some like cool toppings. I think in the interest of time, I'm gonna grab a mandolin with a julienne attachment and get some nice little matchsticks and kind of make a carrot repé. So I'm gonna make kind of a mustardy vinaigrette and toss those together, maybe a little nut and some cilantro in there, and then just have like a little a little tuft um, on the plate. Okay, can I so gather, you can gather so a few things? Uh, Where do you keep the mandolins in this joint? Salt. Oh, what's this? Where do you keep the mandolins, guys? He's just raiding Andy's station. Well, yeah, he's got, you know, it's, this stuff looks a lot closer than the spice cabinet. He's got a little, did he use this already? He hasn't gone yet. Oh no! Well, let me steal Andy's cutting board. We'll start with that. I stole this from Andy the other day. That'll be handy. Oh god. Oh god. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen or whatever. That's fine. I can handle it. Where do we keep the attachments? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Lemon pahahe, okay. Sumac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking for like a mandolin with a julienner attachment, like the julienner blade. I haven't been able to find one so far. Oh, I'll use my furikake that I recommended earlier. Honey, salt, soy. Olive oil. Hey, hey, hey. I was using this stuff for a, a marinade the other day, and that's like basically the exact same stuff I'm gonna use here. Oh, that's the oven. Ha ha. Make sure that the carrot is still the star of the dish. Um, now you're scaring me. You sort of need the egg on a carrot and egg salad. So, am I disqualified? I'm just looking for the little julienner attachment for a mandolin. Oh, God. Wait, let me move my eggies. <gasps> Shh. Can I pour this? What? No, no, no. I'm, I, but I'm just wondering. Wait, you're saying, can I, can I, pour, can I pour things in? No. Yeah. What? Like this? Oh. Thank you. Make a little dressing, Dijon mustard, pinch of salt. Squeeze one lemon. Is this being timed? We're not being timed here, oh. right? Black pepper. <laughs> a little bit of cilantro. 
I'm not gonna use the mandolin at all anymore. Get the mandolin. Well, I'm gonna, from when I pick up my first ingredient, maybe. The carrot's not gonna be my first okay. thing that I pick up. Do you wanna talk about really quickly what you're adding an extra challenge to yourself? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to really do this in one minute, because I took the challenge literally. So, being literal about it. Let's begin. Okay. All right, okay. cool. Okay, ready? Everyone ready? I can add a yes. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Ordinarily, I'd like to soak these in ice water to get them kind of nice and crispy, but I don't have time for that. I'm not gonna do much to the carrot because I think carrots are amazing by themselves. Salt to season, boom. <laughs> this is so stressful. A little bit of olive oil on there. And then we'll do a little bit of cocky just for fun. Lemon. Oh yeah, right down to the line, chef. Four. Salt. Three. Two. It's time. <laughs> Done. A sad salad for one. That was so hectic. Let me take the little. No, no, oh, no. Can't no, take that out? No. All right. I, you know, it's not quite there. I wanted some of the greens kind of like more like dispersed evenly and I wanted a touch of soy sauce in there, but it's fine. It's got like honey, lime juice, olive oil, got salt, nori powder, and it got um, gochugaru, uh, Korean chili flakes. So honestly, if I, I mean, can, might I? No? Ideally, what I would do, but there wasn't enough time, is for me uh, to place the carrots cut side down so they're all kind of act like they're standing up but uh, I knew there was no time to do that uh, so I just used a ring mold so it looks as clean as possible and I had a damn paper towel just to kind of make it uh, but keep it tight because I think it was very easy for things to get loose it's maybe like a very small maybe a early course of a annoying tasting menu, but at least it looks like a dish and that's what I was going for. Tell me what this is. Uh, okay, this is something that I grew up eating. It's a grated carrot salad with a chonk or tempered spices made with mustard seeds and because I couldn't find curry leaves, I used the little leaves of no, the no, no. oh, the leaves of the carrot which crisped up really nicely and then I hit it with some lemon juice and salt and that's it. It's a really simple salad and it's really good. Can I fix it? No, 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 no. My teeny tiny uh, representation of egg and carrot salad. Um, because you say it has to be mostly carrot, I only put one piece of egg. <laughs> Not so bad looking, right? Beautiful. I think that I made a dip in a minute. <laughs> and it looks rustic. A F and also colorful and very um, postmodern. Yeah, my thing with food is like it can't just be beautiful; it has to taste good. So I, I spent a good amount of time making sure that there was flavor and maybe not that much time making it beautiful. But if something is delicious, it is beautiful. Do you know what I mean? So that's um, that was my approach. I'm not super mad at what I just made, though. How do you feel about that? I feel great about it. I feel like I nailed it. Yeah, shit. I've paid for worse. Okay, but introduce our dish here. <laughs> I feel like such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here we have carrots two ways. We have them raw and then lightly uh, steamed or poached, whatever they did. Then we finished it with a little bit of salt and olive oil and furikake. All right, bon appetit. It doesn't matter. 
This really doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, it matters, you guys, but it also doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just a carrot. It's a couple carrots. <laughs>